What is going on guys and today I'm bringing you a brand new video. We are doing daily uploads from now so if you're new around here make sure to subscribe. Of course if you haven't entered already we're giving away 12,000 FIFA points. All you've got to do to enter is follow me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram and of course subscribe here on YouTube. Drop me a DM with proof and you will be entered in. We're going to be announcing the winner of that giveaway at the end of November so make sure to get your entries in. But without further ado we're going to be trading again today teaching you how to make 100k an hour. Let's get into it. So guys, the first filter we're gonna be looking at something very, very cheap. We're just doing Nation England, we're doing League, Premier League, and we're just gonna be going for the cheapest gold cards. Now this one is pretty simple, um, and it is an easy filter to go through. It's not something too special, but we're starting off low and we're building up throughout the filter. So we've got quite a few players here looking pretty cheap at the 59th minute. I reckon a lot of those we could probably pick up for 400 coins quite easily and sell on for about 700. So let's see who we get first of all. We've got Ailing. Uh, he is looking, how much do we reckon he's going for? Right back from Leeds. Obviously not really playable in game, but I reckon we can get 600 coins out of him, so not too bad. We're going to pick up like three or four players on this filter here because it's a really cheap, easy one. And then we're going to move on to a little bit higher priced uh, and a little bit more expensive players. So we've got another one here. If we can get like a I mean, we've definitely missed that one. If we can get like a left mid or a right mid or even a striker, we're in for a decent bit of profit. Eze there might not do too bad. Barnes as well. Barnes, could it be an easy 700 coins? If you look at him there, obviously he's not got the physical that we'd like in sort of the more expensive teams, but 83 pace, 80 dribbling, decent enough for like a starter squad, I'd say. Uh, and a lot of people will probably still be using those at the moment. I don't know how many people really put FIFA coins onto the game. I know obviously most YouTubers do. I know most of my friends have put some ink on the game or got like pre-order packs, but there are still people using those like base teams. So those players still do have somewhat of a value. Once league SBCs come out, they'll actually probably raise a little bit because it is probably more valuable to have them at that point. We've managed to get Bertrand there who left back, right back, they always go for a little bit extra. And once again, like he doesn't look awful. If I had a really sort of basic starter team, I would probably consider picking him up uh, 70 physical 73 pace definitely not bad for a left back at all so let's have a look see what we can get there for the final one we got mm, probably the worst right mid we could possibly get looking at the pace but we're going to pick him up and chuck him up for 600 coins as well and then we're going to move on to some players with a little bit of value. So guys, the second player we are gonna be looking at, or the second filter, is gonna be Deli Ali. So we're just gonna be having a look at him. I believe he goes for just under 2,000 coins at the moment. He actually was a bit of a nuisance to me at the start of the game. He definitely isn't bad at all in game. Um, so if you haven't tried him out, give him a try. He's not a bad card at all. It looks like he's going for around maybe 1.8. So those two 1.5s would have been quite a nice little pickup let's just have a look 1.8 uh at 1.8 you've got like 30 minutes left so he's probably going for about that ea tax on 1.8 you guys know how we work it out it's 1800 you do 10 percent is 180 and then you half that for 90 coins so at 1.7 we'd make a 10 coin profit which isn't what we want so at 1.6 anything we pick up is a minimum of a 110 coin profit we've already seen that there were two listed at 1.5 obviously while we checked the price we never pick up players but we found that those two obviously were listed so we're guaranteeing you know there are people listing him below his price we got a 1.6 here we just really want maybe a 1.5 a 1.4 and we will be very very happy so we're just going to try bop a few of these out see if we can get one or two deli alleys and then we will move on to the next player of course we are going to have way more filters coming real way guys i will be doing a lot more like filters rather than players uh, but we'll do like once every two days we'll do like the top five players to snipe right now then we'll have the top three sniping filters right now we've got 1.1 on a deli alley that we missed that was such a slow snipe from me uh, i've got to take the blame for that one there that was awful Hopefully, uh, we can actually manage to nab one of him at a little bit of a better price than that. So we've got 1.7 here. Let's do a little bit of compare price, see where that takes us, and I'll get back to you once we have one. 
So we've managed to get a 1.6 pretty quickly. Uh, so we've got that one there. Not too bad. It's got a chemistry style on. Honestly, I reckon we can get 1.9 for that at minimum because chemistry styles as well, they always do make a player a little bit more expensive. We've got nine contracts there. So more than the, the seven that you get when you pack him. So definitely a few factors there that could make him a little bit more expensive. We've got another one here, 1.5. And Rob has missed the second one of the video. I haven't missed it. That's really dumb. We've managed to get that one. I don't know how that's happened there, but you know what? No complaints over here. 1.8, is that one? Any extra contracts, anything like that? 28 contracts, but to be honest, people don't really look at contracts. I look at contracts when I buy players, but it's not something that's really ever gonna push up the amount that you're, you're selling for too much. I think chemistry styles and position changes mean a lot more. Um, especially position changes depending on who it is like Ben Yedder at Cam or Martial at Cam that's probably a good one because for foot champs people change him up to that anyway so another one of the Deli Alley's definitely not too bad he seems to be coming up a fair bit so we're happy with that let's see if we can get one more call it a day and then move on to the next player in the video hopefully we can do a few more of the next player as well call it a successful video and we will be very happy to those of you who have been subscribing recently the support is really appreciated you guys have been killing it obviously lockdown two is here we're going to do what we did in lockdown one i'm going to smash it with daily uploads possibly two a day on some days especially when there's an sbc i will definitely be doing two a day on those days because easy for me easy for you you guys seem to really like that i'm going to try and get some series going with trading so we'll have that as well so just make sure to tune in of course we do seem to have picked up enough of this guy. We're just going to have a look at my list of players. I think the next one we should go for is probably, I mean, I think we're going to play it safe and go for, just trying it off the top of my head. I think Ben Foster is probably not a bad one as he, let's just make sure he's only got one card. You've got to bear in mind that if a player has two cards, they're always more expensive, but usually it's because one of the cards isn't in packs anymore. And that means it's not really a good idea to snipe them when they only have like, you know, one or two of that card being listed. Here, he does seem to be coming up and it does seem to only have one card. So that is, very good at 800 coins there i believe he's going for 1.5k so i think we've made a decent snipe there definitely nothing to complain about let's make sure let's just check his price real quick 1.5k on xbox so that's actually a very decent snipe to be fair we can't complain about that at all let's just have a look uh not that there let's get it for 1.4 see if we can sell it on a little bit quicker let's see how much he's actually going for is it going to turn out that he's actually going for way less than that okay so he's actually going for 1k footbin a little bit wrong there on the prices uh, so we'll still make a decent profit off that i think the cheapest one on the market we've got some at 950 so 800 is probably where we'd really want to snipe anyway so it's definitely not a bad snipe but the one we've listed currently will not sell on because it's 500 coins more than it should be unless we get like a really lazy buyer we want to probably get one or two more at 600 so we can sell them on a little bit quicker and then we're going to move on to the final player we're pushing the price ranges a little bit up with that one to make sure you guys who have the bigger balances will be satisfied with the methods as well just checking the time we've been going for just under 10 minutes so hopefully a nice short video for you guys i hope you guys are enjoying if you are of course you know what to do smash that like button uh, i'll give you guys some investment tips over the next few weeks if you do want to hear about those drop me a dm on instagram or twitter i've got a few things that probably are worth buying at the moment we've got another one there at 650 and easy snipe there uh, it does look like one of the players we bought has sold on hopefully it is the other ben foster hopefully some one thing a bit lazy and pick that one up from us we're going to see if we can get one more of him and then we will move on to the final player of the video and hopefully we can get like a min price on this one wouldn't wouldn't complain uh, we had a bit of a blunder with one of the other players just absolutely not being listed so we had to cut him from the video uh so a bit gutting but to be fair it just seems like some players aren't being listed it's really weird like i'll come to a video i'll check all the players half an hour later we'll do the vid and they just don't they just don't get picked up it's really frustrating but i always like to check before i do a video for you guys because sometimes i know that it can be frustrating on your end when you get misinformation and stuff so i do want to make sure all the players are easy profits i mean that one there 450 doubled our coins very happy with that we're going to go for the final player and then we will call it a day we've got young one basaka here i believe he's going for dead on 10k right now 
Uh, he might be going for a little bit more. Maybe that was a snipe, maybe not. Let's have a look. Uh, at 11K, there's quite a few. So let's knock it down, have a look at 11 to So I think he's going for 10,500, if I'm not wrong. Uh, so it's probably about 10,750. Uh, we'll just do it as if you're going for 11. So EA tax is going to be 550 coins. So we'll probably want to pick it up at 10K at the minimum uh, and then list it up for 10,750. So EA tax after that, we're going to be making a profit of about 200 coins. Not too bad, uh, but not amazing. So we do want to get him sold on pretty quickly. Let's have a look. I don't know why it's doing it like that. Right, let's have a look. So 10,750 there. So decent profit, nothing to complain about. Obviously, I'd like to get one for a little bit less. So maybe we should knock, uh, I would say knock it down, but we might miss out on a couple of 10Ks. Let's see if we can just, you know what? Wait, Ah, uh, they're all 10Ks. Oh, that was with a shadow though. Let's see if, we, oh, we missed that one. That was a bit of a finesse there. They're all 10Ks. Now we're gonna knock it down because there's too many at 10K. We want we want a little bit of extra profit. See if we can get a little bit more. I doubt as many are gonna come up, but we should be able to get one maybe at like 9.5, 9K possibly. Obviously we're here, we're missing out on those like two, 300 coin profiters. So we may make a little bit less overall, but I do wanna get a nice little snipe to end off the video. So we're hoping that someone mistakenly lists a Basaka for like 1K or 2K, that would be pretty decent. Decent. Unfortunately, I know you guys will rip me in the comments, but I did actually mislist a player earlier who was worth 100k. I listed 50, so one of you may have picked up a Martial at around 48, 49k. Uh, that was me who listed that. Very disappointed with that, but um, I guess someone else is a little bit more fortunate than me today. Uh, 9.3, and we've missed it. How? No, we've been sat here waiting for a 9.3, for a 9.5, and we've actually missed it. That's going right. We're going to get the next one. The next one is ours, guys. Absolutely no doubt. Next one is ours. Ah, the next one's not ours, is it? We're just going to get finessed out of it. Is... Okay, so we've got a few here at 10.5. Let's see if we can just do a little bit of compare price. We just want like a 9 something. And then I'll, I'll call it a day very, very happily. The tens are not doing it for us. The ten, we've already had a few tens. We don't want the tens. We just want the nine. Come on, come on, just one. Right, we're gonna knock it back down to the 9.9. .9. I might have to speed this up, but we're gonna get one, and uh, then we will call it a day, guys. So guys, we have seemingly been finessed. We've missed out on the 9.3 and haven't been able to get another. So I'm gonna have to call it a day. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Make sure to snipe Wan Basaka, Ben Foster, Deli Ali, all of them, and then try out the, the non-rare filter as well because they are all very, very good. Make sure to check those out. You'll get a ton of coins. And of course, make sure to check out the rest of the videos. But I'll see you guys tomorrow.